Hi, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailer. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around the Shore Track Gooseneck Hydraulic Dovetail. This trailer is a 102 by 32 foot. It's got dual tandem 10K axles. The trailer is 22 foot of flat deck and a 10 foot hydraulic dovetail. It's going to weigh in at about 71.20. GBW is 22.5. Let's take a walk around this particular unit. As shown here, everything would be stock. There's no options on this particular unit. With those uh, payload numbers, you're going to net, give or take, about 15,000 pound on the trailer. You're going to pick up a couple thousand pound of additional tongue weight. This trailer is available in different lengths and axle ratings, although this is how we most commonly stock this particular unit. So on the neck, we've got a 12-inch I-beam frame. They do a underneck bridge and a gusset plate. Nice little details we don't always see. Do the reflector tape. Net gussets going from the vertical to the horizontal and then from the vertical to the side rail. Uh, in the last year or so, Short Tracks wrapped that gusset, gives it a nice clean look. They've also switched to the bullet LED lights that you see. Full width toolbox is standard, dual 12K jacks. Jacks are bolt on for ease of replacement. Grease zerts on the jack and it's a spring assisted jack foot. It's got a keeper for your jack handle. Safety chains, seven pin sealed wiring harness and breakaway cable, all standard equipment. It's got a standard seven pin blade. You notice that is a dual pin connector for the plug. Standard spring assist uh, coupler. It's got dual adjustments with your pin. They do put a spot for a spare tire in the neck with a mount. Couple nice things on the short track hydraulic dove. They do dual side steps. These little side steps, stirrup steps, have uh, little grippers in that make it nice. They also do an oversized D ring on these. It's a 5 8 ring. They used to put eight on these standard. Now they've also added two more up front for your hydraulic attachments and whatnot. Lots of tie downs on these. Rub rail standard, also stake pockets, pipe or chain spools in between each of the stake pockets. So you have four different ways you can tie down on the trailer. This one here is a 22 plus 10, again, 22 flat, 10 foot hydraulic dove. A lot in the industry are gonna do a nine foot tail. A 10 foot tail just makes it nice. It gets you an even lower load angle. 22 plus 10, we feel is about the right axle placement. I believe standard book spec on these is 20 plus 10, uh, but the extra two feet pretty much all goes to the flatbed side. Gets those axles just a little bit farther back. A couple other nice features we like on the short track. They do a bought toolbox, not an in-house box. Uh, all their other ones they make, but on these hydraulic doves, they buy these in from buyers. Nice box, nice locking latch handle. KTI pump, power up, power down. DECA deep cycle marine battery. Put a trickle charger built into these standard equipment so you'd simply plug in an extension cord or house current uh, one nice feature i like having head trailers similar to this before they support it in what i'll call a semi style so it's supported underneath that's important because a lot of them up here over time uh, different manufacturers i've had and seen and whatnot uh, they'll tend to rust out and all the weight in the box uh, I've seen toolboxes peel right off and lay alongside the road. So this is supported underneath, which again, to me, uh, is important on these. So you get a nice box supported the right way. Then underneath here, you'll notice it's a pierced frame. So you get your deck height lower. This is a 32 inch deck height. And then they get the uh, underneath outrigger underneath your channel cross member. Uh, supports it to the outside. A little bit nicer than a angle iron that we occasionally see. It is a 12 inch beam and it's a 19 foot pound beam. Some of these are going to use a 16. And then this also has the X bracing or the cross track bracing you see underneath. That ties together the main beam and also the cross members. Cross members on a 16 center. So it's tying together both sides of the beam and the cross member both. This has Dexter 10K general duty axles. It's got a 10 ply radial tire, 235 ADR 16, load range E, oil bath hubs. It's got your slipper spring suspension. 
The Honda Hydraulic Dover is a few things that we like. Again, one is it's a 10 foot tail, not a nine foot tail. Between that and the pierce frame, and you can always tell a pierce frame seeing the top of the I-beam and then the low pro fender wells, gets you down to a 32 inch deck height instead of 36 and then a 10 foot tail instead of a nine foot tail. Uh, overall, this gets you down to roughly the same angle as what a car hauler trailer would be. So you get a very low load angle. You can load a lot of different, uh, a lot of different things with this setup. Notice the D-rings back on the tail, tapered edge on the tail. And we like how they mount the spring light bar. If you look at a lot of spring light bars, uh, there's some interesting designs. This one here, pretty well thought through. It's got grease zerts on it, tucked right up in. Uh, another little detail, these cross members go all the way back to the back. We've seen some that'll take a torch and notch out a three inch channel and um, cause problems and water collectors for down the road. But this one's got structure coming all the way to the back of the trailer. So again, the uh, tail's also got your rub rail and your tie downs all the way back. To, uh, to undo the tail, I've already got it open here for you. It's a simple pin setup. A couple of nice things on Short Track's tail. These are dual five inch cylinders. A lot in the industry are gonna do three. Occasionally I've seen four. Short Track's the only one I've seen with fives. And then they do a triple stack of two by six tube that that's supported by. And you'll notice the Pierce gussets still coming all the way back. So you got an oversized cylinder, a little bit better bulkhead than again what we've oftentimes seen back here. Got a heavy duty hinge point on these. So this tail will swing up past level just a little bit. I will take it up the whole way and then uh put it down for you. Angle's a very uh, complicated uh, formula for a farm boy, but uh, this one here is 32 inch deck height and a 10 foot tail, so your rise to run be one over 3.2 versus a typical 36 inch uh, trailer with a nine foot tail would be one over four. So uh, it'd be about a 20% better angle by my quick math over a uh, standard deck height with a nine foot tail. So again, if you uh, need to load anything low profile, this might be your trailer. There's different options available for this, but as you see, it's how it's most commonly equipped. I believe we can get this all the way up to a 40 footer and as high as 15K axles. Also available side boxes, winch plates, and whatnot. You can get it in colors as well. If you have any questions on this one, you can either give us a ring at 717-220-4220, or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.